The Miami Dolphins head north to start 2021, taking on division rival New England right out of the gate, and the buzz around Foxborough is going to be off the charts because the Mac Jones era is officially about to begin. Here comes the rookie Mac Jones. Cam Newton is no longer in the building, paving the way for Jones to make his first regular season start. Pats fans hoping there isn't any drop-off from what they saw of him in the preseason. Pretty throw, but it's the action. It's the quick show the ball to the back, set the feet, get your shoulders square, and just lay it to Bourne. And talk about your overhauls. New England's offense isn't just built around a new signal caller. Its wide receiver room is also made up of almost entirely new faces. Grab by Aguilar, who's free at the 40, 35, 30, touchdown. Play fake, Tannehill rolling, throwing, catching, Smith, touchdown, tight. Beathard out of the backfield, has time, and will rip this downfield, and the jump ball caught. Bourne catches! Herbert shotgun snap the pass. Throws to the back corner of the end zone. Caught! Touchdown, Chargers! Herbert to Henry! Miami's D, though, isn't the easiest for an offense to try and get acclimated against. They were tough against the pass last season, and three of the four starters in Miami's secondary are back. Xavier Howard making his claim as the top corner in football. One-handed, comes down. Holy smokes. The one key change to their DB core at safety, where second round pick Javon Holland will make his regular season debut, and so will first rounder Jalen Phillips. He's being plugged in up front to a front that could cause a lot of problems for Jones. The throw gets hit. It's a fumble. The ball's on Go! the ground. Miami's defense wasn't as tough against ball carriers, though. That was their soft spot, so to speak. That was a big hole. It was too touched. easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Expect New England to test them plenty along the ground. It was their one offensive strength in 2020. Toss sweep right on second and goal from the ninth. Running it right. Harris into the end zone untouched. Is it a touchdown? All right. They're calling it a touchdown, Josh. Touchdown. So what about when Miami has the ball? It's two a time. This will be the first time Tunga Bailoa is allowed to drive the car without having to worry about Fitzy being in the back seat. Back to throw, looking blitz, Got touchdown! It. How about a little two a touchdown? How about that? There you are! There you are. Doll fans, yeah, that's what they go by sometimes. But Doll fans should be focusing on the kinds of passes Tua makes, the hope being that he will hold the ball a little longer in order to let guys like Devontae Parker and Mike Gusecki stretch the field more often. Deep pattern, downfield, touchdown Miami! What a throw, Devontae Parker! Over the middle and it's caught by Gusecki! The most amazing one-handed grab! Mikey's nice, Mikey's nice, y'all. That was like a Jordan. And no Will Fuller just yet. He's still serving his suspension, but that could provide more chances for first round pick Jalen Waddle, who will have to try and get open against a very tough secondary, but that secondary will be missing Stephon Gilmore for this one. Good thing for the Pats, JC Jackson will still be out there. Where's back, throws to the left side, intercepted oh. by JC Jackson. Go, 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 go! New England's defense received just as big a makeover as its offense did, too, the majority of the work being done to its front seven. So this is an opportunity to see if the Pats can get home against the QB more often. Van Noy, third sack of the day. Haskins in trouble, and Haskins is dragged down. And a number of other faces who weren't with them last year also take the field, Dante Hightower being another. Stepping up into trouble, the ball is very free. So, tons of new faces in different places. The Patriots looking to restore their image. Miami looking to continue building it up. Who do you like? If you're familiar with game preview videos, you know I'm the voiceover guy or the game preview guy if you prefer. And you also know you're supposed to put your score predictions and analysis in the comments section. Our predictions will only fit on the screen, so here they are. And all of this year's game preview bids will come with 10 of them. That's it! That's it! That's it! That's the way to go!